welcome to Larkin Learning Labs. Today what we're gonna learn how to do is to scan your head and make it into a 3D model. Let's go. All right, so the thing that we're gonna be using to do the scans is this occipital structure core hardware. Um, you can get this from Occipital, just look online. They're a little expensive, uh, but they're used for a lot of different purposes. But that's the, pro that's the hardware we're going to use for this project. Okay, so when taking your skin, you gotta make sure that you sit in a chair, that is a swivel chair, that kinda ooh, all the way around, you know, quick. But you wanna make sure that you're standing straight up, straight up like this, and slowly move your feet don't move your head up and down, just kind of go around in a circle like this, and you want to do this two times. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the scanning part and click, double click disconnect on the left. We're going to make a new scan, we're going to do the body, so we don't want to have that selected. If you press the other ones, if we wanted to do other things, we could do what the actual scanner is going to be looking for. We're not gonna mess with the aspect ratio. The path is where things are saved. We're not gonna do a config file. So we're just gonna press start. And now we're going to get close to the camera. Stand straight up and down, and then slowly move around in a circle. Okay, so now what you're gonna see is it'll have this scan, and if we right click and push forward, we can zoom in. If we hold down the scroll wheel, we can move the canvas. And then to orbit, we left click around. Now you wanna check the scan to make sure you don't have any crazy holes that you shouldn't have. The holes that you will have is the hole in the top of the head because it didn't scan that. Then also at the bottom of the chin, those are kind of thing. I see some holes right here too, but we're gonna see if we can fix those real quick. So, um, now in here, we wanna go next to process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move and crop. And what we want to do here is we have our x-axis, y-axis, and z, but we're going to move up and move down this. So I have just my shoulders and that, and then we're going to hit crop to ground. Once we've cropped to ground, now if I look, uh, I don't have anything there, so that's good. Next thing I'm going to go to is I'm going to remove parts. This just gets rid of any little hanging kind of pieces of data that it doesn't need. And then I'm going to fill the holes. That's the next step. And I'm going to choose watertight and see what happens. So it filled in my hole in my head. I do have a flat head, so that's not the best, but that's what we can do. And it also got rid of the hole in my chin for the most part, and that looks good, and also in the shirt. But if you look down here, now I have this uh, kind of concave part of this, which is not gonna work for 3D printing. So that's not gonna work. So what I can do is I can reset, and it will set it back to the beginning scan. So I need to go back to move and crop. It's already set there, so hit crop to be able to do that. And then we'll go to fill holes again. We'll try open hull and see how that do, does. Maybe the smoothing will say is medium again. And now we have it to where it's doing a bubble down at the bottom. And it actually gave me a bubble on the top of my head too. That looks kind of funny. So yeah, I don't really like that either. So I'm gonna reset again. 
I'm gonna move in crop. And then I'm gonna go to fill holes. I'm gonna try a closed hole this time and run it. And that looks a little bit better. I like that. Now to get rid of this part down here at the bottom, we want this flat, we can just do this moving crop again. And crop from the ground. And if we look, let's go here so we can see it. If we look now, we have a good flat bottom. And that is all that we're going to do with the scanning to be able to get the scan. Now we need to actually share this. So if we go to share, we want to export the model. That's what we want to do. Export the model. And we're going to be doing our scale in meters. That's fine. And we want to be using an STL type of file. If we need to decrease our faces, that's another whole thing, but we don't need to do that. And then we're just going to go, let's go uh, export. Why not? And I'll just put Larkin head, save it on my desktop, press save. And now I'm ready to put it into my uh, Prusa slicer. All right, so let's go into that. Double click the Prusa slicer. And I can just find my model, which is right here, Larkin head. I can just drag it right onto here. And you're gonna see something here, which is kind of crazy. So where is it at? It is way, I'm zooming in, zooming in way there. So that doesn't work. So what I can do is I can scale it to be larger. So if I click this button right here, this is scale. If I go to this blue part, I can pull this to the right. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And now 2000% bigger, it's still pretty small. So I can keep going. Now I have a 58 by 34 by 43 millimeters. That looks pretty good. And I can slice it from there, do a little slice preview. So this one will take an hour and 30 minutes to print. An hour and 30 minutes to print, you'll export the G-code, save it on the SD card, and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. Hope this helped. Have a good day. Thanks.